today we're going to talk about something really really Burmese which is Tanaka so welcome back to this series and um, the first time I came to Myanmar I saw this everywhere and I was thinking what is it that these women are wearing on their faces um, and very quickly when you're in Myanmar you find out it's Tanaka so let me tell you about the main elements of Tanaka so first of all we need this which is the Shimadown Tanaka Tong it is basically the uh, a part of a tree that you can use to get the paste okay the second thing we need is Tanaka Chao Pien which is this um, stone thing that you use to grind the tanaka on. Okay, so you put the water on the stone on the chow pin. So after this, you can see that you have the tanaka on the stone. So what we can do is now we can put it on our face. So what is it actually used for? Tanaka is for instance to use against the sun. Because it's very hot and the sun is shining very hard, the tanaka will protect your skin from the sun. Also it will help against acne and also actually people use it as a decoration. So now I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to put the tanaka on my face which is called pakwe. So you take it with your finger and you can actually make different shapes. So there is many beautiful different shapes, but the simple one is a circle. So let me show you how to do it. Now dry a little. And here you have your first tanaka. So apart from protecting you from the sun, tanaka is also used for decoration. Mainly used on your cheeks called pakwe. So let me show you how you can do this. You can buy these stems anywhere in the market. Maybe they cost around 150 chats. You put the tanaka on the stem. And then let me show you on my hand, but normally you put it on your cheek, which is called bakwe. See? Beautiful decoration. Now, of course, it would be a little bit heavy to carry this with you everywhere you go. So that's why there is also ready-made tanaka. For example, this one. This is Shimadown Tanaka that you can just use wherever you go. So you take a little bit of this paint and you can just put it in your hand and make the Tanaka in your hand. Very easy to use and simple and good for travel. Ta-da! We finished our Tanaka. So this is what Myanmar people call a Yan Lade very very beautiful so thank you for watching this episode on tanaka and see you guys in the next episode Bye bye